Okay, we are moving along nicely, and um, I think you're doing well. I want to thank you, thank the many of you who are writing in to me about this series, and uh, you, many of you have asked me questions which I have tried to answer in your in your email you send me. Okay, now for this page this exercise. Here's what we're going to do. We are staying with the three cards that we have been working with, G, A minor, D major, and back to the G, back to the tonic. But here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to play for you a backing track, which just is carrying a bass. Of course, it doesn't matter what instrument you are playing. Um, okay. Wasting time talking um, trivia. This backing track that I'm going to play for you just has the bass. And what I want you to do is to hear the notes that the bass is playing and follow the notes. Okay, this is going to be a an exercise in quick response for you. I'm going to play the backing track in a series of five, five choruses and as the choruses go by uh, I'm going to increase the, the tempo. Okay, so we're going to start very slowly and very simply and increase as we go. So you know, as previously, you've got to work with this exercise and perfect it. Okay, um, you've. This is exercise number three, and we're just moving on steadily and getting it a little bit more technical as we go. And obviously, you you know you 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 have to be able to count from one to three before you can count uh, from seven, eight, and nine, okay? So we're just proceeding slowly. Um, without anything further from me then, I'm going to turn the camera to the backing track. Just f follow the notes and hone your skills, okay? We'll meet again in good time, and that means soon. Let me start the backing track here and turn the camera.